I've suffered from working at an unethical company for six years now. I can't quit since I have a girlfriend. I'm Haruhiro Kobayashi, 27 years old. You're cutting off all the clients I'm in charge of? Yes, I am. We're making some profits off them, but... Um, isn't that a good enough reason to keep them? Sacrifices are necessary for the greater good. I hope you understand. The company needs immediate change. This is my manager, Ayano Koji-san. He's here because the parent company sent him to pull our company together. He's a handsome, middle-aged man. He's impressively persuasive with an expensive-looking watch. I understand. So you'll be in charge of making the coffee starting tomorrow. Yes, sir. Uh, why? I've heard through the grapevine that you make the best coffee, and I love coffee. It's my favorite beverage. Oh, okay. I'm home. Hiya. And this is Sachiko. She's a colleague who's a year younger than me. She asked me out six months ago, and we've lived together since. So, Haruhiro? Yeah? I think we should break up. Yeah, wait. Why? Well, Ayana Koji-san asked me if I wanted to get married to him. So, I calculated both of your incomes. He'll make five times more money than you before retirement. Really? But hey, I felt sorry for you since you suck at your job. I asked him to make it easier for you to quit. So that's why he made me in charge of coffee. Plus, you know, if I marry you, I'll have the same name as that famous Enka singer in Japan. His name sounds so much better. Kobayashi can't hold a candle to Ayana Koji. Anyways, I'm gonna need you to pay rent for this month. I'll send your belongings to your parents' house or something. I lost my girlfriend and my apartment in one night. She better apologize to all the Kobayashis out there. Excuse me. I need something that will give me wings. Sure thing. Ah, this feels awesome. Here's your Red Bull. Jeez, somebody looks under the weather. Did you get in a fight with your girlfriend? Hey, Kaho. Oh, did you stop by the gym today? Yeah, yeah. I love sweating out all my stress. I strongly suggest it, Taruhiro. Excuse me. I need something to make me feel like I exercised. Gatorade might do it. Oh, I already feel athletic. Seriously, what's wrong? You're acting like a moron. Kaho Omori. She's 28 years old. She's my childhood friend, whom I hang out with from time to time. We're pretty open with each other. She started a business handling sportswear and sports-related products last year. That makes her a CEO. That's some heavy stuff. Excuse me. Here's something easy on the body. I prepared an original cocktail. So? You have nowhere to stay tonight. And your colleagues want you out of the company? Yes, that's right. I'm a wandering loner who belongs nowhere. She was your first girlfriend. You were so pathetic. You know whenever I play Bomberman, I usually screw up at the start and everything just crumbles? Well, I think that game is based on my life. Gosh, this is serious. Yes, he's gone insane. Don't worry, I got you. For real? For starters, can I have a million yen? Wow, didn't expect you to be so brazenly greedy. I'm kidding. A hundred thousand yen, Kaho Ne. Huh, that's what you used to call me when we were small. I wouldn't mind hearing it again. Kaho Ne, I love you, Kaho Ne. Hmm, I see. Well, I moved to a new place six months ago. I live in a high-rise condominium. You're bragging about living in an expensive condo after hearing what happened to me? Maybe I should cut ties with you. I need to protect my ego. Just hear me out, okay? I have a vacant room at the moment. 
I didn't think things through when I decided to live in it. Now she's bragging about how big her place is. Excuse me. Sir, you are most dickheaded man I've met. Huh? I'm trying to ask you if you want to stay with me. <sighs> I'm going home. Excuse me. Check, please. And do you have any gifts I can buy with 500 yen? Why don't you try the convenience store across the street? They might have something. Whoa. Now I'm sober. I love the frozen meals they sell these days. Kaho, exactly how much do you make? Seriously, how did you afford this? I feel like an idiot. Buying you frozen takoyaki isn't enough at all. One of my clients recommended this place. I didn't want to refuse because it'll make things awkward. The high-rise condo she bought just to avoid discomfort was way beyond what I was expecting. Just FYI, you're the first guy I've invited inside. Okay, come on in. Thanks for this. Wow, I'm so excited to see what it, it's so... I'll just stay at a cheap hotel tonight. Why? It took guts to ask you to come here. Do you want me to cry, huh? I'm sure your room is the one that wants to cry. What the hell? This place is a garbage dump. The room is not physically capable of crying. It would be crying if it could. I can't believe this. I know you've never been the most tidy person around, but treating your room like this is plain cruelty. Athletic girls don't focus much on details. Uh, this is a bit embarrassing. You're disrespecting every female athlete by saying that. This room is a disaster. You should be ashamed of yourself. Well, you look at that. Spick and span. Not a spot in sight. You sound like a TV show host or something. I'm exhausted. And hey, you obviously haven't cooked in ages. Yeah, too much work. Why would you waste your workouts by eating unhealthy food? So, look at me. My body is beautiful. You should thank your parents for that. You're going to regret living like this five years later. Well, living with a girl paid off for you. Hats off to your knowledge of women's bodies. I bet you have a great time learning about it with your ex. You mean Sachiko? Nah, we never slept in the same bed. She kept saying she wanted to take things slow and treasure every moment. Little did I know she was sharing a bed with Ayano Koji-san behind my back. Uh, shouldn't have brought her up. Yeah, I admit it. I'm gullible. I totally believed her. Uh, anyways, your Ines son will take care of you. Huh? You're going to sleep with me? Ouch! You little perv! You sound like a middle school boy! I meant I will hire you, our hero. Hire me as what? My housekeeper! I see. People who live in such nice buildings can afford housekeepers. Fine. I'll come over every day. Huh? You don't have to leave. Why? I mean, I have vacant rooms you can use. You have the brain of an elementary kid. This is not a children's sleepover situation. You're a 28-year-old woman, and I'm a 27-year-old man. Bill, don't brag about being younger than me. That has nothing to do with this! Oh, I almost forgot. Haruhiro, you work in sales, right? Why don't you work at my company? Then you'll have two jobs and get paid twice. What do you think? Really? I'll get paid for making coffee for you? No, you actually have to work. You're going to let me work? I don't get big clients. Only the little ones are willing to give me their time. I have high hopes for you, Haruhiro. Oh wait. It's past midnight already? Let me hear a decision now. Do you want to stay here and get a new job? Or would you prefer roaming the city? I'll stay here with you! Who knew I would end up with a nice apartment and a new job all in one day? I went to turn in my resignation letter the next day. It took me less than five minutes to leave the building. The company is crap, and I'm glad I left. Hey, I told you a thousand times. You have to put the underwear in the laundry net. Uh, um, my bad. It must have slipped on my mind. You've done this eight times in the last two weeks. I'm throwing out all the underwear the next time you do this. Please don't do that. Gosh, I was going to say you're like my mom. 
but she would never do something like that. Don't forget anymore. Anyway, I made Irish stew today. Whoa! I have no idea what Irish stew is, but I'm excited to eat it. Yum. You've always been the domestic type. But seriously, how does anybody get this good? <laughs> well, my ex never did anything. And she didn't allow me to make the same dish for a month after I served it. Yeah. Good times. No. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, I saw you got a new client to sign a contract. You aren't incompetent at all. I knew the guy from before. I met him at my previous job. That's great. You have wonderful connections. I'm proud of you. I was desperate to survive back then. Hey, don't be so gloomy, hero. Hero. You live with your gorgeous childhood friend. You should be dancing with joy. Yeah, but I'm the housekeeper. I live here because it's my job. Technically. Fine, I know. We should sleep in the same bed starting tonight. Why? Huh? Uh... Why aren't you answering? Employee benefits? Don't ask me! You're the one who suggested it! Are you really okay with this? I'm a guy, you know? It's fine. By the way, I'm a girl. Ugh, he's already asleep. I mean, kind of expected it, but... How could he put on an eye mask when I'm wearing my sexiest lingerie? He must be an idiot. I work at Mori Mori Sports now. Our hero! Hey, tell me what is going on. Oh, my bad. I stuffed all your clothes in the dryer without separating them yesterday. Did they turn out okay? That's not what I'm talking about, but dude, those were all my favorites. They better not be ruined. <laughs> so boss, what can I do for you? Oh yeah, I received a call from Dennis Cutman. Who? The legendary basketball player. He wants to make an exclusive contract with our sports products. Hmm, now that I think about it, somebody asked me for directions near the airport yesterday. And? Back up, boss. Your, your breasts are pushing up against me. Start talking. Well, I was out trying to sell our protein, remember? I asked him if he wanted one because I thought he might be thirsty. You gave our protein to a stranger? From overseas? Why did he call you Samurai Gentleman Horror Hero? Oh, I figured it would catch his attention. Non-Japanese people love samurai. I was right. He loved it. We talked for over an hour after that. So what? He wants us to see him at a hotel with a contract. <laughs> he specifically asked for you. Get ready, now! He'll be broadcasting live on YouTube. <gasps> no way! I couldn't believe what was happening. It didn't take a month for Mori Mori Sports profits to shoot through the roof. <sighs> I'm drained. I'll get dinner ready right away. It's okay. Take a moment to relax. Our hero, you did a great job today. Don't worry about me. I prepared most of it yesterday. I made Kima curry. You do everything for me now, Haru hero. Both at work and at home. Kaho, if you hadn't taken me in, I would have ended up living with my parents. Jobless. And the food you make? I know you try your best to feed me well, despite me hating vegetables. You... knew? Why are you shocked? Of course I knew. For real? I've never been so surprised. I want you to stay healthy for as long as possible, Kaho. I need to make sure you only eat things that are good for you. Uh, I wonder why. Oh, uh... Is it... like... you like me? Or... Something of that sort? Huh? Yeah. I like you. Uh, what? Why are you so surprised? Do you remember our promise? We said we would get married if both of us were single when we were 30. You remember that? I would never forget it. Then why did you get a girlfriend? Kaho, you're the one who suggested I should. When I asked you for advice, that's why I thought you didn't remember our promise. We didn't have a future. I only dated Sachiko because I thought our deal was off. Well, I said that because I wanted to check if you remembered her agreement. I... 
didn't think you would actually go for it, but you did. You have no idea how disappointed I was. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, wow. We decided to talk about this another day and went to sleep soon after. It felt good to have her by my side. Kobayashi-san, someone is here for you. Thank you. Who is it? I think he said Ayana Koji-san. Security stopped him at the entrance of the building. That's my former boss. Kaho, I'll be back soon. I'm coming with you. Better not mess with you. I haven't been working out for nothing. Please, stay hidden. Hara hero. I saw the live footage. You're totally famous now. Hey, we have a desk ready for you. You should come back to work with us. Gotta be kidding me. My ex-girlfriend and my ex-boss were trying to get me back. Let's get back together. To tell you the truth, I still have your stuff in my apartment. Yeah, I know. You tried to sell my stuff on a flea market app. I'm glad nobody wanted them. So you admit it. <sighs> the nerve. I saw my stuff online. Not one person has hit the like button. I was shocked. You can keep them all. Just stay away from me from now on. Oh, wait a second. As it turns out, Ayana Koji came to her office because he was demoted. He's not wealthy. It's his family that has the money. His parents send him money every month. So what? At least he has the money. But they said they were cutting him off. We used too much one night. My mother was fuming. It's still terrifying to think about. So, can you come back? I can only think of the negative effects of going back to you guys. Oh, hey, how about we sleep together? Isn't that a great idea? No, thank you. I live with my beautiful childhood friend now. You see that girl poking her head out? That's her. Are you saying you're taking her over me? Isn't it obvious? But I just said I would spend the night with you. I have plenty of activity plans for a great night with Kaho. She works out every day. I hope she has enough energy left for tonight. <laughs> Haruhiro-kun, I have not accepted your resignation letter. <sighs> Seriously, what the hell? I knew that would come up with something like this. Call my lawyer. You have a lawyer? Where? He's Dennis Cutman's legal advisor. We should go. Yes, we should. You're stronger than I expected. You... you said it yourself. We have many activity plans for tonight. Yes, I did. But this isn't how I imagined things would go. What do you mean? You're too strong. It's like you're eight and I'm two. Wait, now, now it's nine to one. Because, Haruhiro, you have no idea how much I like you. And I like you too. But you don't see me expressing my love with muscles. My body's going to break. Are you trying to say you're a wild animal in bed? No, I'm talking about right now. We will have no future if this continues. I'll die from suffocation. Gosh. Everything about you has always been so extreme, Kaho. I don't know what to do, or how to do anything. I'll leave it up to you. Do whatever you feel like doing. Fine. I'll do what I want. <laughs> uh, okay. Two years later. Today is Kaho's 30th birthday. And it's also our wedding day. Ugh. Why do we have to wait until my 30th birthday? Getting married if we're single by your 30th birthday was our promise, remember? Oh, Harakiro, you're too detail-oriented. It was an important promise for me. Yeah, yeah, says the guy who left me for another girl. And you brought me back. I thought the least I could do was to properly keep the promise we made. Was that not okay? That's not what I meant! I did take a few wrong turns, but I'm glad I'm back on the right course. I hope Kaho and I can cooperate and navigate each other to our happily ever after.